This is Gladiator. Gladiator is my 2023 Indian Pursuit Elite, and she is for sale. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that have never been to this channel before, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. All right, guys, this is Gladiator. Gladiator is my 2023 Indian Pursuit Elite, and she is for sale. So I know people are gonna have questions. I'm gonna try to answer all of the questions in this video. Uh, let me start out by saying, I already have an offer for this bike, but it's from a business. And I definitely don't wanna sell this to a business before I give preloaders and VI preloaders an opportunity to purchase this motorcycle because it's a great motorcycle. All right, so first question, why am I selling her? Is there anything wrong with her? Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with this motorcycle. The motorcycle has 2,270 miles. Um, not a thing wrong with her, not a scratch on her. Uh, and you guys are gonna laugh if you listen to one of the reasons, the main reason why I'm selling her. Uh, because I love the way she looks. This is not like with my 2021 CVO Road Glide. That bike, I bought that bike and I was trying my best to like it, but I just didn't like, I'm not into Road Glides. Well, at least not the older Road Glides. I'm just not into the way they look. This motorcycle is appealing to me visually from the front and from the side. It's just a beautiful motorcycle. I'm not too crazy about how it looks from the rear, but that's not, that's got nothing to do with why I'm selling it. The main reason why I'm selling this motorcycle, guys, is because it turns like an aircraft carrier. And that is a first world problem. That's a preloaded nation problem because most people, that's not even something that's on the radar because what do I always say? Most motorcycle riders ride straight and make slight turns. But even motorcycles that don't make slight turns, most of them don't turn the way I turn a motorcycle. And this motorcycle, because of the way it's designed as far as the longer wheelbase and the, the handlebars don't turn as far as my Harley Davidson touring motorcycles, it restricts the way I love to ride, right? And you know, if you take away something that somebody really likes from a motorcycle, they're not going to enjoy the motorcycle 100%. So I find myself, when it's time for me to go for a ride, and I look at my choices of motorcycle, I don't pick this motorcycle for that reason. Um, and so it's, rather than it just be sitting in my garage and me ride it every now and then, I know for a fact that there are somebody in Preloaded Nation or somebody outside of Preloaded Nation that would love to have this motorcycle and ride it the way, you know, it's intended to be ridden, period, right? Not the way I ride. I need my Harley Davidson motorcycles to ride the way I ride. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about making tight turns. So if you think about the MSRP for this motorcycle, when I bought it, this motorcycle was $40,000 plus whatever the hell else comes with that. Um, and the only thing I've added to this motorcycle, I'll start at the front. I changed the headlight. Now this is an elite, so this has everything that you know, an Indian motorcycle is supposed to have, and that included an adaptive headlight. But I changed it anyway. I put the uh, Custom Dynamics adaptive headlight on there. I changed the windshield. Now this came with a taller windshield and it was clear. This current windshield is a Clockworks windshield and it's shorter and it's smoked. I just think it looks way better. 
I still have the clear one just in case somebody wants that. I don't know why they would, but you know, we're all different. Uh, trust me, this does the job. I'm 6'1", so the, uh, the Indian windshield is adjustable, so it moves up and down power. So trust me, that size windshield, in my opinion, not only does it look better, but it's, it's, it's more functional too because the other one was too high for me and I'm 6'1". I added some fog lights on this motorcycle. Again, those are also from uh, Custom Dynamics. I changed the handlebars. Now these are Tab Performance Folsom Prison handlebars plus eight. And let me tell you something, guys. If you ride a Indian Pursuit or a Challenger, you absolutely have to change the handlebars. So remember I told you this is an Elite. So the Elite model came with the upgraded handlebars and the upgraded handlebars come closer to you. Well, guess what? They're still not close enough, right? And for me, I'm 6'1", they're not close enough. Uh, you go to make a turn, you're gonna be reaching a lot. So these work way better and they're more comfortable because it brings your hands up higher, but not ridiculously high, not too high. It's just very comfortable, it's comfortable at slow speeds, and in my opinion, it looks better. But I still have the original handlebars. If somebody wants that, they can have them. Moving on to the back of the motorcycle, I changed the exhaust. These are tab performance with zombie baffles, four and a half. Um, I still have the original exhaust if you want those. Again, same message. I don't know why you would. These sound amazing, but you know, they might be too loud for somebody else and they might like stock. So if you do, I have them. I took off the eye poker, the, the antenna. I put on a nice shorty. Still have that antenna if you want that. Um, I added some custom dynamics uh, lights on the rear, the blade lights on the rear of the saddlebags. And I also have the plasma lights between the rear fender and the saddlebags. And along with all of that, the magic strobe is on here as well. So the, the light on the top of the tour pack is strobing and the lights down here, along with all the custom dynamics lights, all of those are strobing. highway pegs to this motorcycle and the highway pegs are kahuna collection highway pegs uh, from Harley Davidson but I think on this motorcycle I don't like I, I don't like the Indian style motorcycles it's rounded just like the grips on the motorcycle I, j I just don't like the way that feels and I think a flatter surface feels better on your feet and I think it looks better it's, it looks like higher quality so I added that I also added a heel toe shifter um, of course I'm going to leave that on the bike but I don't recommend that whoever buys this bike keep that on the bike because it's just dangerous and what I mean by that is it's poorly designed you can't it's like a seesaw so you can't make both sides low if you make one side high the other side has to be low and vice versa and the way it is right now when I go to put my foot on the ground my pants leg makes contact with it and one time it almost made me not be able to put my foot down and I almost dropped the bike so it's on there but I don't suggest that you leave it on there I'm always gonna be right down the middle, guys, full disclosure, fully transparent. I don't have anything to hide with pretty much anything in my life and that definitely uh, includes the sale of anything. I did a video on this motorcycle having a vibration issue. That was resolved a long time ago and it just needed to, they just needed to replace the front tire. Uh, so the motorcycle is in perfect condition, perfect, perfect condition. So yes, there's a lot of things that come along with this motorcycle if someone wants them. Uh, the one thing that does not come along with this motorcycle is not transferable is the practice time that was put into it the skill level that goes along with riding it I can't give you that guys that's something you got to get your own you got to put the time in you got to practice you got to get that confidence level up all right guys all right let's talk money uh, what I'm asking for this motorcycle is if you are not subscribed to this channel 30 grand 
that's your price. If you're a preloader, meaning you're subscribed to this channel, $29.5. And lastly, if you are a VI preloader, the price of this motorcycle for you guys is $28.5. I might even go a little bit lower for my VI preloaders. I don't know, we'll see. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna draw this out. That's what's going on. That's what the motorcycle is for sale for. Um, and I probably will give this about, I don't know, maybe a week. And if I don't have any takers, I'm just gonna uh, let the business have it. And I really don't wanna do that. I'd rather it stay in Preload Nation. Anytime I buy something and then I'm gonna sell it, or if something's given to me and I wanna sell it or give it away, I always want it to stay in Preload Nation. Like that's the goal. These things don't always work out, but that's my goal. All right, so if you're serious about uh, wanting to purchase this motorcycle, I know when I bought it, there was a lot of people that said, he's not gonna keep it, so when he wants to sell it, I'm gonna buy it. Well, let's see what happens. You know, people talk a lot, and then when it comes time to show and prove, uh, plus things change, I understand that, circumstances change, uh, and this was almost a year ago. So if you're interested in this and you're serious about it, just shoot me an email. Uh, the email's on the top right-hand corner of the screen, and, um, and we can go from there. All right, guys? All right, listen, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have, guys. Less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycles, you have time to practice. And if you buy this motorcycle, yeah, I do expect you to practice on it. And I expect you to ride it, too, of course. All right, guys. Love you. Till next time.